ओम शांति बाबा सरकार मुरली जुलाई ट्वेंटी फोर्थ ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर बाप दादा वर्जन ऑफ श्री बाबा एसेंस ऑफ द मुरली स्वेत चिल्ड्र लर्न फ्रॉम द फादर हाउ टू डू होल सेट सर्विस we have to learn from the father from baba manmana bhav and remembering alpha and reminding others of him his whole cell business so baba is talking about whole cell and retail business whole cell is only one mantra that is manmana bhav that is remember alpha that mantra is applicable to all souls whether they are deity souls or any other souls so baba said so that is a wholesale business all the rest is retail everything what we are talking about <clears throat> is retail business except manmana question which children will the father welcome to his home especially baba is welcoming to which children so baba is clarifying answer the father will receive in his home the children what kind of children who follow the father's directions very well condition number 1 father's direction means who follow sri ma second those who those sorry <coughs> those who don't remember anyone else means remember only baba and third those who break the yoga of their intellects away from all their bodily relationships including their own bodies baba specifically say including own body because the soul has maximum attachment to his or her body and who stay in remembrance of the one father then and then we can stay in remembrance of one baba on so three condition to whom baba will welcome in his own home that is our home also but baba's home is a permanent home we are coming down here and playing our part so baba said those who follow father's directions very well those who don't remember anyone else and who break their yoga of their intellects with everybody except baba and connect with baba the father is now making you children into beautiful flowers and he will then welcome you flower children to his home <clears throat> beautiful flowers miss ladies for angels om shanti you children have to sit here in remembrance of the father how to sit in remembrance of the father consciousness of ourselves should be changed and of the land of peace we have to remember the father in land of peace not here when baba was coming in avyakta form also he always tells that remember me in the supreme abode not here even dada's body was a sakar form baba was telling the same thing <clears throat> the baba says so remembrance of the father and the land of peace and the land of happiness everybody cannot remember land of happiness everybody can remember the land of peace because it depends upon the sanskars of the souls the deity souls who had a sanskar of land of happiness they remember equivalent to baba the land of happiness too that is land of peace land of happiness because both are you can say of baba one is belonging to baba that is supreme abode another he is being established by baba that is shivalay both are shivalay you souls must only remember your father and forget this land of sorrow must remember this is a sweet relationship between the father and the children sweet relations because no expectation no condition from baba there he isn't such a sweet relationship with any other father because we have 84 fathers in our 84 birth so no relationship whatever we now have in 84 birth with baba with any other father <clears throat> one relationship is with the father and then 
there are also the relationship with the teacher and the guru in physical world first relationship with the father when taking a birth then goes to the school relationship with teacher and then finally with guru in retirement here all three are one if you remember even this much three relationship it is a matter of great happiness you have found the one father who shows you a very easy path no difficulties on this path remember the father the land of peace and the land of happiness and forget this land of sorrow baba don't give anything which is physical that gives the money give the time you want give the energy nothing baba to simply remember so it is a easy yoga you may tour around but let there be this remembrance alone in your intent there is no mundane business etc here <clears throat> in madhuban patuli even at the center when we are meeting together no mundane business you are sitting at home the father is telling you to remember just three words three words it is just one sentence remember the father Remember, remember the father. Another three things, Baba is reminding. By remembering the father, you remember us both inheritances. We are getting two inheritances from Baba. One, the land of peace. Another, and the land of happiness. It is the father who gives everything. By remembering him, your mercury or happiness rises. Push pimples. The happiness of you children is very well known. it is in the intellects of you children what is in our intellect that baba will receive you at home and welcome you there but condition only those who follow the father's directions very well who follow the srimat very well and who don't remember anyone else that is anyone except baba break the yoga of your intellects yoga means connection union meeting nothing else so baba say break your yoga of intellects connection of intellects away from any bodies and all bodily relationships what is our own body and others body relationships and constantly remember me alone this is the condition <clears throat> then and then baba will welcome us at his on the path of devotion too you did a lot of service but you didn't find the way to go home the father is now showing you such an easy path simply remember what you have to remember the father is the father and also the teacher and gives you the knowledge of the beginning the middle and end of the world which no one else can explain so gives the father is the father so his introduction that is manmana bo and whole cycle introduction that is madhya ji bo the father says you now have to return home no choice you will then go first into golden age you now have to return home from this dirty world although you are sitting here you have now almost gone from here the father to his pleased you children have been inviting the father for a long time to come and you have now received him the father says what he says i will make you into beautiful flowers and then receive you in the land of peace you will then live number wise it is so easy <clears throat> you must not forget such a father this is a very sweet straight forward matter that was a very straight forward moment nothing to add nothing to do nothing you can say physical involvement remember just the one thing alpha allah baba although he explains in detail he finally says remember alpha alone and no one else baba is giving all knowledge and finally he says remember me only gita ke word hai gita's words ma me kam yaad karo mam ekam only one or uh, that is me only you have been lovers of the one beloved for many births you have been singing what we were singing baba 
when you come, <clears throat> I will belong to you alone. That is our promise. Now that he has come, you have to belong to the one. Baba is reminding us, reminding our promise from, you can say, copper age. Those whose intellects have faith are victorious. You will gain victory over Ravan. You will then have to go to the kingdom of Rama. When we will go to the kingdom of Rama, when we have a victory over Ravan. <clears throat> and victory by two ways, with Baba's knowledge, with love, or with punishment. Choice is ours. You will gain victory over Ravan. That was 100%. Path may be different. You will then have to go to the kingdom of Rama. You have gained victory over Rama every cycle. That was nothing new. Not very hard, not very difficult. Because we have to repeat the things what we did. As soon as you became Brahmins, you conquered Rama. Immediately conquered Rama. Why? Baba says everything we got from Baba in inheritance. Course done, we will be deities. Maybe number wise, but we will be. So Baba says, you conquered Rama. You have a right to the kingdom of Rama. Immediately, <clears throat> deity, getting the knowledge. You recognize the father and claim your right to the kingdom of Rama, but you now have to make effort to claim high status. So effort is only for high status. You have to become the part of the rosary of victory. Others are not the rosary of victory. The rosary of victory is very long. 900,000 who become completely pure, even 20 million deities who were completely pure who are coming in Gondonese. So victory, the rosary is very long. If you become kings, you will receive everything. All the maids and servants are created number-wise, not all are same. Even maids and servants different categories. Some stay very close and they eat what the kings and queens eat. The maids and servants receive whatever he is prepared in the kitchen. That is called 36 varieties of food. Actually, it is the 36 virtues, but how to indicate? So we have indicated 36 varieties of food. Otherwise, the food of deity is very, very minimal, very, very subtle, because happiness is the greatest food them, for them, and they are always happy. Don't require more physical food. The kings are called multi-millionaires. The people cannot be called that, even though they are not concerned about wealth there. No concern about the wealth, still status is there. That, however, is a sign of the deities. The more you remember Baba, what is the sign of deities? No concern about wealth, they are always contented. The more you remember Baba, the more you will become part of the Sun dynasty. You have to go to the new world, no choice. You have to become emperors and empresses. Somebody has to, no choice. They are also. The father gives you this knowledge in order to change. Why is giving the knowledge? In order to change from ordinary humans into Narayan. <clears throat> this is called Raj Yoga. You are the ones who have studied the scriptures on the path of devotion the most. We are the one who study the Scripture the most. You children have performed the most devotion. We started devotion, we finished the devotion also. You have now come and met the Father. The Father shows you a very easy and direct path. That path is, remember the Father. Baba says, child, child, and explains to you. The Father surrenders himself to you children. You are here, so he has to surrender himself to you. You also said what we said, Baba, when you come, I will surrender myself to you. You said that you will surrender yourself to him with your bodies, minds and wealth. And we were ready to cut down even our head for the dog. So Baba is reminding us, <coughs> you only surrender yourself once, whereas Baba surrenders himself for 21 times at the 21 birth. The father reminds you children. He can understand 
that all of you children have come to claim your fortune number wise according to your efforts he understood baba knows the father says with children the sovereignty of one is my property make as much effort now as you can the more effort you make the higher the status you will claim proportionate everything effort so the status the one who was number 1 become the last number that is brahma he will then definitely become number 1 again cycle everything depends on your efforts the father has come why to make you children back home to take your children back home if you now consider yourself to be souls and remember the father your sins will continue to be cut away this is the only way to cut our sins that is the fire of lust in the world and this is the fire of yoga so with one fire we are going down with another fire of yoga we can go up by burning in the fire of lust you have become ugly you have became completely like ashes i have now come to awaken you i show you the way to become sato pradhan from tamo pradhan it is very simple i am a soul by being body conscious for so long you were dangling upside down now become soul conscious and remember the father you have to return home and the father has come to take you back you invited the father and he has come he makes impure ones pure he becomes the guide and takes all souls back home it is soul that have to go to the on pilgrimage not the body so you are pandava community the pandavas didn't have a kingdom even in the scriptures no kingdom there was the kingdom of the kauravas the trust the rule of kings has now finished here no rule of king only govern you can say of the people by the people for the people democracy all kings were be kings are finished the condition of bharat has become so bad <clears throat> you were worthy of worship masters of the world and have now become worshipers so no one is the master of the world only the deities become the masters of the world this is a law of the drama nobody except deities can become the masters of the world those people say that there should be a peace in the world you can ask them baba said they want peace ask them questions first question number 1 what do you call peace in the world question number 2 when was there a peace in the world the history and geography of the world repeat and the cycle continues to turn tell me when there was peace in the world what kind of peace do you want there was a question after question no one will be able to tell you the father explained that there was peace in the world of hell <coughs> there was a peace in the world of heaven baba says so <coughs> the history and geography of the world repeat and cycle continues to turn nagesha somebody is coming <clears throat> so baba says tell me when there was a peace in the world what kind of peace so baba says the history and geography of the world repeat and cycle continues to turn tell me when there was peace in the world what kind of peace do you want baba says no one will be able to tell you there was called paradise christian say that 3000 years before christ <coughs> there truly was paradise their intellects neither become divine nor stone it is only the people of bharat who become those with divine intellects and those with stone intellects the new world is called heaven the old world cannot be called heaven 
the father is explained to use children the secrets of heaven and hell that is retained in wholesale he just uses one expression what is the expression constantly remember me alone only from the father do you receive unlimited inheritance these two he is an old matter 5000 years ago there was heaven in bharat the father tells you children the true story the story of the true narayan the story of the third eye and the story of immortality are very well known each of you also receives a third eye of knowledge that is called story of the third eye they have made that into a religious book of the path of devotion everything whatever baba told whatever the custom and system baba is telling us everything is narrated in physical way on the path of devotion everything is now explained to you children very well there is retail and wholesale in business also two type of business retail business wholesale business baba gives you so much knowledge that even if you make the whole ocean into ink you cannot reach the end of it it is shown in the devotion also that ocean into ink all forest into pen and all you can say samudra ki sai that is ocean in the milk pen that is jungles and earth as a paper still we cannot write all his virtues all his powers and everything that is retain the holes in wholesale he simply says man mana bo essence wholesale means essence there is just the one expression and only you understand meaning of it in the world nobody can understand the meaning of man mana bo no one else can tell you that the father did not give you knowledge in the sanskrit language whoever the king is he uses his own knowledge our language will only be hindi so why should you learn sanskrit people spend so much money when anyone comes to you tell him the father says remember me and you will receive the inheritance of the land of peace and the land of happiness if you want to understand this sit here and understand he it we don't have anything else to explain the father only explains alpha only from alpha do you receive the inheritance remember the father and your sins can be absolved and you will become pure and go to the land of peace people say o oh, best of our peace the father alone is the ocean of peace and so they remember him alone even in devotion any kind of you can say devotion that is any religion people remember him asking him as a purifier or liberator the heaven that the father establishes will be here on this world not above above there is nothing in the subtle region those are just visions you have to become angels like them you have to become that there you will become angels and then go back to you receive the inheritance of the kingdom from the father you receive both inheritances of peace and inheritances of happiness no one apart from the father can be called the ocean the father is the ocean of knowledge and so he alone can grant salvation to everyone the father ask you i am your father teacher and guru and i grant you salvation and so when then takes you so who then takes you into the degradation baba say he is the purifier he is the liberator he is liberating us he is purifying us then who he is you can say degrading us so baba says ravan this is a play about degradation and salvation if anyone is confused he can ask many questions arise on the path of devotion but there are no questions on the path of this knowledge because everything is clarified in crystal clear way there is no question of any blind faith here so baba says path of knowledge 
in the scriptures. They have caused so much defamation of Sri Baba and the deities. They haven't left anyone out. They make even deities, Sri Baba, everybody. This drama is predestined and they will also do the same again. Because drama is going in cycle, repeating, so doing again. The father says, what he says, this deity religion is one that gives a lot of happiness. This sorrow will not then remain. The father is making you so sensible. Lakshmi and Narayan are sensible and this is why they are the masters of the world. Those who are senseless cannot be the masters of the world. At first, you were thorns and you are now becoming flowers and this is why Baba brings a rose and says that you have to become such a flower. Rose is the most beautiful flower, king of the flowers. He himself comes and creates a garden of flowers and then Ravan comes to make it into jungle of thorns. So, both are, you can say, makings are different. Ravan, garden of thorns, or you can say jungle of thorns, and Baba, garden of flowers. It is so clear. <clears throat> you have to think about all of these things. So we should know who is transformer, who is a good, best transformer, who is the worst transformer, we should know. Ravan is the worst because he is making us down. Baba is the best because making us elevated. Everything is included in the remembrance of the one. You receive the inheritance from the father. This is great. This is a great prosperity. You receive the inheritance of peace because he alone is the ocean of peace. You would never praise the physical father in this way. Sri Krishna is the loveliest of all. He takes the first birth and this is why everyone loves him the most. The father gives his children news of the whole household. Whole household. That is, you can say household changing eh? from impure to pure, pure to impure. The father is the real businessman. But hardly anyone does such business as he does. Scarcely a few become such wholesale businessmen. That was very, very few become the wholesale businessman like Baba. <clears throat> you are wholesale businessman. Baba is making everybody wholesale businessman. It depends upon your efforts up to what we are making ourselves. You continue to remember the father. Some make a bargain in retail and then forget. So course doing, they're not doing any effort, so forget. The father says constantly continue to remember me alone. Once you have received your inheritance, there will be no need to remember me. In worldly relationships, when a father becomes old, some children support him till the end, whereas others squander all the wealth as soon as they receive. Different kind of children in the world also, Baba children also like that. Baba has experience in all of these things, Brahma Baba. This is why the father made him his chariot. He has experience in poverty as well as wealth. He is experience in everything. According to the drama, there is just this one chariot. Baba says he is taking the most experienced chariot who has experience of poverty as well as wealth. This can never be changed. So, Baba, Brahma Baba is the chariot of Sri Baba. The drama has been created and there cannot be any change in it. After explaining everything in wholesale and retail, he finally says, Man Mana Bhav Madhya Jiva. <clears throat> everything is included in Man Mana Bhav. This is a great treasure with which he is filling your heart. So everybody will take the mantra of Manmanabhav. Only deities will take the mantra of Madhyaji. Each imperishable dwells of knowledge is worth hundreds of thousands of rupees. You are becoming multi-million times fortunate. The father is beyond being happy or unhappy. 
he observes the drama as the detached observer. You are playing your parts. I am the detached observer playing my part. We are coming in attachment and detachment. Baba is never coming in attachment beyond any kind of attachment. I do not enter the cycle of birth and death. No one else can be liberated from this. No one can receive eternal liberation because people believe that we wanted to have eternal liberation that is Moks Baba. Nobody can get the Moks. Even Baba has to come in the cycle. This eternal drama is predestined. This, this too is wonderful. Baba is wonderful. We all are wonderful. Drama is also wonderful. A, wall, a whole part is recorded in each tiny soul. Soul is also wonderful. This imperishable drama can never be destroyed. <coughs> Achha, to the sweetest, beloved, long lost and now found, serviceable children, number wise, according to the effort you make, love, remembrance and good morning from the depth of the heart and with lots of love from the mother, the father Bab Dada. The spiritual father says Namaste to the spiritual children. And spiritual children love, remembers, good morning, and say Namaste to the spiritual father. Mithe, Mithe, Sikala De Bacho Prati, Pat Pita, Bab Dada Ka Yatyar, or good morning. Rohani, Bab Ki, Rohani, Bacho Ko Namaste. Am Rohani, Bacho Ki. Ruhani, Mat Pita, Bab Dada Ko, Yadpyar, Good Morning, or Namaste, Shukriya, Baba, Shukriya. <coughs> Essence for Dhana number one. Just as the father surrenders himself to you children, similarly, once you surrender yourself fully to the father with your body, mind, and wealth, you claim the inheritance for 21 months. So Baba says, Take a step of courage, then and then you will get the help, otherwise not. Point number two, keep your upper arm constantly overflowing with invaluable, imperishable treasures that the Father gives you. Stay in the constant happiness and intoxication that you are multi-million times fortunate. Blessing, may you experience and enable others to experience. So we have to pass on our experience, share the experience, the property and personality of Brahman life. What we have to share, and what we have to experience, property and personality of Brahman life. Baba said property of Brahman life is contentment. And personality of Brahman life is, you can say, happiness. So Baba is telling in the explanation, so property and personality of Brahman life and thereby become a special soul. So Baba explains, Baba Dada reminds all of you Brahmin children that it is your great fortune that you have become Brahmins. However, the inheritance and the property of Brahmin life is contentment and the personality of Brahmin life is happiness. Never be deprived of this experience to which you have a right. Since the bestower and bestower of blessing is giving you the treasures of this attainment with an open heart, you should experience them and also enable others to experience them and you will then be called a special soul. Slogan, instead of thinking about the last moments, think about your last stage because stage is very, very important. That's the reason Baba say, be ever ready. That is our last taste should be that. Achha. Om Shanti.